What is up? Whammo here with another game of Left 4 Dead 2 for you. This is not on No Mercy. Now this is dead center right here. Uh, we have our usual team. We just kicked to get, I believe, Webb. Yes, Webb to come in. Uh, wasting a couple things. Looking for this Charger Spitter combo outside the door. Uh, I feel like it's a better attack than, you know, most of the dual support attacks you can get out. See how it goes, though. Um, once Webb comes in, it'll kind of differ our loadout a little bit. Now we're wasting the boomer. Maybe should have skipped past this. Oh no, that's right. That's why I didn't skip past the tank. Early tank. Surprise butt sex tank. Oh, this is such a bad tank spot. <clears throat> it can be uh, rage inducing is why. Not, not because it's difficult, but just because a bad team will get wiped to this tank. I mean, there's just... It happens so often, and then a good team can generally, you know, come out of this tank with maybe one down, and or maybe low health, and have to use a couple kids. But, uh, might not be the case here. It looks like they are backing up in the safe room, which is very smart. Although, when you are in the safe room, the tank does not lose rage. So, that tank can pretty much sit down there forever, we can just keep sending our SI in there, uh, four or three at a time, and attacking. And really, they can't, you know, push the tank or anything, because the tank isn't losing rage, you can just hide. We're not going to be dicks about it, though. We just simply wait for Webb to get in. Organize this attack just a tidbit. Probably should be sending something in before the Boomer for distraction. Perhaps the tank. There goes the tank. Boomer should be a little bit behind the tank, actually. Quite a bit behind the tank. There goes. Now the Boomer should be coming in. Getting a couple scratches. Tank has yet to hit anything. Boomer, I don't know what he's doing. Waiting to come up. Not getting a hold of anything with that Boomer. Oh, that's unfortunate. <coughs> Tank needs to back out now. He needs to back out. He's just going to get melted. Uh, gr chasing green survivors. It's, it's so hard to hit him. And there he goes down. Yeah, I probably should have backed out after that boomer failed. Yeah, that boomer should have been pretty much behind my charger. I think that would have been a better attack there. But you know... I think it's better that we wipe that tank right there, uh, simply because the other team won't rage quit. I mean, yeah, it is kind of annoying and it's a bad way to start around, but all in all, I mean, I think it, it could have gone worse. I mean, at least they're going to stay through the first round, right? And you know, you might get a good game out of it, which obviously if I'm casting it, you know it's going to be a good game, so uh, I don't know why I even waste the time saying all that. <laughs> We do have a good uh, three cap combo in here with a spitter and a charger. Very, very nice. Uh, no smoker for the ledge, though. Going to vary up our attack a little bit at the ledge. Nothing crazy. The jockey can do a good job of moving around out here. Um, obviously, the charger can do so as well, but the, the hunter is more of a scare tactic than anything. It will force them to do things they wouldn't normally do. We will see how they come into this situation, though. They might, just might bait this charger out. I mean, it's it's such a common charge spot, obviously, but, I mean, people tend to bait it forever. I mean, they will wait here until this charger goes sometimes. Jockey might be able to set him up here, though. They're going to go for the spit, trying to maybe make something happen. There goes the charge, stopping on something. I don't know what he hit. Oh, and the jockey able to drag somebody off the edge. Very, very nice, and then the hunter jumps off the edge after the guy who fell and hung. I don't know why. <laughs> maybe a missed jump. Uh, spit damage is... Oddly high because that guy just kind of stood in it. Um, there's no smoker up. They know all four of us went right there, so they're free to run along the ledge all they want. Uh, not a terrible attack. I mean, that. Considering that charger did land, I mean, had that carried like it was supposed to, maybe they moved the ironing board. I didn't even consider that. They might have moved the ironing board out. But yeah, he may have stopped on that. It was a good attack. It, it could have got a little bit better, but it was, it was alright. They're moving up rather quickly. A good boom from behind there. Good timing on that boom. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, we do have a charger here, although they are in a situation or a spot that we can't really do anything. Maybe that charger can make something happen off that pole. Oh, this is such a bad spot for the survivors. Oh, charger, there it is. Beautiful, and me just being stupid. What am I doing? Oh. <laughs> Probably could have wall kicked onto him pretty easily, but that's okay. Yeah, that smoke um, in the cover of that boom was critical. I mean, that, that enabled that charge to happen, and a beautiful timing on the charger, a good lead, able to death charge that guy pretty easily. They're going to make it all the way to the elevator. I doubt that we'll have another attack in before they start that. Maybe. Yeah, they're going to get it. 
Yeah. Um, a witch is down here, a wandering witch, which is... Which is nothing. I mean, that's... She's going to walk into the fire and light herself, and it's going to be over with. Which is what she always does. They need to fix that, by the way. No, witch is down here almost always a non-issue. Uh, you know there's not going to be a tank. Uh, so they only have to worry about getting boomed outside the gate and getting spit on outside the gate. Uh, possibly a charger, but that's not in the combination here. We are a dual support with a hunter smoker, which is probably my least favorite setup. There's the spit. It may have landed inside the elevator, which may have limited the spread a little bit. Hunter trying to get a pounce. I'm waiting for that to get a pull. I need to spawn. Where's my spawn? There it is. Spawn. Kid, what are you waiting for? Yeah, I think I could have had an attack right there had I gone. There goes the witch lighting herself on fire there. How useless. I try and spawn off that, but it's it's too late. I'm just wasting it now. Maybe can pull somebody through the fire? Who knows? But yeah, I should have just gone when the hunter did. Maybe pulled the guy who was trying to pounce. Might have effectively uh, done a little more damage. Yeah, they're going to push up pretty good here. Going to pull this guy through the fire. Really, there is no point whatsoever to doing this. Although it did allow that boomer to go off and yeah, it got me a couple of scratches. Well, three scratches and the charger got in there too. So uh, kind of an odd attack spot. I, I think it was just kind of an improv thing that I started and I probably shouldn't have. But, you know, you gotta roll with it, right? A good boom there is gonna pin them for at least a little bit in that area. With only three of them, they have to be cautious about pushing forward under a boom. Throwing a pipe. Way late, way, way late on that pipe. Interesting. Interesting use. Um, it would have been much better served up here, where the horde can block the doorway. I need to get this boom on. We might... Uh, still no three count combinations, which is unusual. Ooh, this boom is looking good. Ellis is standing in the spit right there. Very, very nice. Gonna get the hunter on the guy out here. While those two in the back are busy with that spitter. And I think there might have been a jockey... Yeah, a jockey back there. Able to down uh, Ellis from green, very nice with a combination of that spit and hunter. And maybe some boomed horde, I don't know. And there comes another large horde, maybe a natural. Gonna slow him down, perhaps for another spawn. Yeah, I can have another boomer in. Gonna get that instant spawn. Oh, and he hits me. I guess that was a good idea, but, well, maybe not, considering all the horde spawned in front of him. They're gonna take a little bit more damage. But we did kill one, so it really doesn't... The damage at this point doesn't matter. They're going for those 25 points that they get for being in the safe room. They may leave Nick. If they can't clear that smoker. Yeah, they're not able to clear the smoker before he goes down. Are they going to leave him? If they can clear this attack right here, they'll probably go get him. But they need to make sure and clear the attack. There they go. Yeah, the three caps really haven't been with us. There's the charger. Maybe you could have spawned in front of him, not behind him, stupid. In front of him. Able to get a little bit of damage to that charge. That was kind of a yeah, fail spawn there. I should have spawned in front of him. But uh, yeah, that was a hard fought round for them. Very, very hard fought round. What in the world? Look at the score things. They're like past the end of where the gray line is. Where the enemy team shows how far they went. Yeah, interesting little glitch I never noticed there. Hmm. 493 points, which is, you know, slightly more than 100 less than they could have gotten. But you probably know that if you're watching this video because you play this game, right? Right? Yeah. And that spray on the wall, for those interested, it's kind of an interesting spray here, hold on. Right there. See, it's Batman fighting a shark with a lightsaber. Whoever spray that is, I love it. I just had to say that, because that is awesome. <laughs> Okay, now we know we have this uh, surprise butt sex tank here. Um, our tactic would be this. We will take it in the big conference room, or we will take it upstairs. Um, it really depends how you feel about it. If it's right away like that, if it's instant, it's almost always a better option to take it up here. But if it spawns a little later, sometimes you can get into the conference room without too much trouble. The problem is you do not want to take that first attack down the stairs with the tank on the map. Otherwise, it can just be so much trouble. I mean, if you... Uh, get two people boomed maybe and you're stuck down there and that tank gets in I mean it's 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 gonna be over so your best bet is just to wait it out up here um, like I said before the tank doesn't lose rage while you're in the safe room so he can sit back all day and throw rocks from right there apparently 
Uh, the combination of two people on those AC units and two people with melee weapons works extremely well. You might even consider doing one person with melee weapons. Uh, your best tank dancer, perhaps. And there's the boomer, they need to clear that. There we go, it's AI. Which means that the boomer got the tank, which is unfortunate for them. Now that tank is just is just back and forth, back and forth, waiting for... Uh, that was a good chop there on that jockey. Wait for this right here. And I'm just... I'm gonna take the first hit, which means I'm gonna take a couple more, too. Tank's gonna get a few swipes and he's gonna back out. Very, very smart tanking. Uh, especially right here. There is a charger up. He's gonna be coming up here. I imagine with a boomer and tail. There's a tank charger. I don't know exactly what that charger charged at, but... Whatever works. Trying to chop all the debris away I can, because you do not want to get caught up on anything. Tank is throwing rocks. Not losing rage. Like I said, he doesn't need to maintain line of sight if he doesn't want to. Um, it's not that anybody's shooting him. He, he can be kind of tricked like Top's doing here. Very, very nice. Subtle skill there. There's a boomer in there, obviously, as you saw there. Maybe he could grab a set of pistols and pick that boomer if I wanted to. And now they're just drawing this out. Like I said, they're they're kind of being vicious about it. You can you can wait for as long as you want with that tank. You know, you could have 10 SI attacks go by the time that tank goes down easily. But uh, hopefully we can either pressure it or make something happen here after we pick the next boomer. Oh, tank might be getting a little antsy. Coming in, taking a little bit of damage there. Hunter behind him. There they go all at once now. And there's the boom. I should have known that was coming. Getting a little bit of spitter go on me, able to dodge a tank for a couple of swings at least. And now we're going to take some horde. This is going to go very badly. We got horde on the map and a tank. Tank is still rather high on the health. He did not take a lot of damage early. And now tank's going to back out. That is clever because now we're going to have to deal with getting each other up. And there's the tank again. As soon as we try and get somebody up, the tank comes in. Buying time is all he's doing. He's just buying time for the SI to come back in. And they're catching that second boom. It's unfortunate. That is going to cause all kinds of issues. That may actually be game right there. Yep. I hate to call it early, but I think that's about as much as we can do. Now, Hishnik being the only one left. And the tank goes down. Oh my god, Hishnik, get somebody up. Don't worry about the horde hitting you, man. Come on, get somebody up. He needs to just be getting somebody up. It doesn't it doesn't matter who it is. If he had started getting me up from the beginning and not worried about the horde hitting him, he could have recovered from this. Which he still might do. Maybe. No, he's going to put me back down again. Decisiveness is important in this situation right here. Decisiveness. Knowing not necessarily what to do, but having confidence in whatever it is that you're doing. Um, he was a little bit indecisive. Not saying that it's his fault that we lost that. I mean, that was a terrible situation. It was very, very hard to come back from that. I mean, if we if we even could have. But, uh, yeah. 12 to 493. An interesting start to the game. I'd like, uh, we kind of messed up there. Why did we lose that round? Well, we got boomed. We shouldn't have gotten boomed. That's, that's what caused it. But we'll see how the next round goes. I mean, you know, you can always come back from this kind of stuff. So, so with the points being uh, like they are, it's, it's almost kind of better, really. Like I said before, it, it keeps the other team in the game. And when you're doing these, I wouldn't call it reverse stomps, but when you're joining lobbies that have four people in them, and you're getting your whole team in there and you're playing against them, you can't always know how good the other team is. I mean, there's, there's no guarantee that they're going to be a team of people who play all the damn time and know exactly what's doing. You know, they might just be a team of randoms who met the last game and liked each other, who knows? So you can't really guess the quality of the other team simply because there are four of them in the lobby. Uh, what can be said though is that they are at least somewhat organized and communicating if they stayed in the lobby. But uh, yeah, first attack here. <coughs> Gonna wait as long as I can for this boom. Might be able to get something good. Two, three, Charger getting tons of scratches before he goes down there. Very, very nice scratches on that Charger. Able to get a couple more on Rochelle there. Yeah, they did They did take a little bit of damage. It wasn't a great attack, but it was It was at least damage. I mean, it's better than getting wiped. 
Uh, will they check or will they rush? They will, looks like, rush it. Which is curious. Con yeah, I was going to say, considering the nature of the tank in the last round, you can almost guess that this tank, this server is going to have another tank right here. And now they're going to be running back. I mean, they need that fire right there. And, oh, Rochelle is getting way too close there. <coughs> Maybe baiting the tank up front. Oh, if I'd have gotten that smoke. Tank does down two of them right there. Holy shit. Yeah, that was a great hit right there. I think it was that car that they got stuck on, actually. A right, tank maybe live, but downing two of them, he may be able to kill him. Yeah, there he's gonna kill him with that car. <laughs> Med pack flying into the room there. Able to kill him with that car. Uh, that is very bad for them. Very, very bad for them. Um, that car is pretty much useless. It's stuck in the doorway. Um, yeah. Triple caps are hard to do. Uh, dual caps are significantly easier to do. Uh, you know, it's 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 to the point where they won't last another attack if there's only two of them. No, they might last another one. They're not going to last two attacks with two of them. We have the dual cap right now. Charger did miss his initial target, which is okay. Charges do recharge rather quickly. Going to get this pull here on the boom guy, which uh, the tank's going to hit him anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <coughs> tank does go down right there. He was burning that whole time, remember? So he is gone. Charger just got cut down there, and I am stuck on this car. Stuck on the freaking car. Get off the car. Ah! It makes me makes me anxious right now just seeing it happen again because it's like there's nobody shooting me. <laughs> it's like I'm just stuck on this car. I didn't even realize I'm here or something. There he goes, realizing I'm here. <clears throat> that's uh that's pretty funny. Stupid car. Yeah, they just called a, uh, a vote to change the campaign, and the guy says on the other team, you would have voted yes on the first map. Um, that's true. But they would vote yes on this map. So, yeah. And we probably wouldn't have voted yes on the first map. We wouldn't have changed it. We wouldn't have... Uh, we would have played through it, regardless. And <laughs> now we're... Uh, coming into this, like I said, they won't last another attack. This is probably going to be the end of them. All I have to do is just land this charge on one of them, push him back far enough. Easy as that. Why did he jump straight up? Herpeter. There you go, Hunter able to cap the other one. Yeah, like I said, dual caps, significantly easier to do than triple caps. And quad caps can't happen in this game unless it's some crazy incident. Yeah, so... That is how to redeem yourselves, I guess, after being wiped by a tank at the beginning of the first level. But who knows, we might we might fail this tank too. Let's uh let's stop and admire this spray again. Oh, I thought I was gonna look at it there. When do I look at it? Come on, look at it. Look at the spray. Look at the spray. There it is. There it is, look at look at that spray. Look at that spray. It's Batman fighting a shark with a lightsaber. Do lightsabers work underwater? Huh. Yeah, epic, right there. That's what that is. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, so knowing that we have this early tank, it is slightly more important that we search uh, to find the fire. I mean, just because there's another tank, early tank does not necessarily mean there's fire, but generally early on in levels there is fire if you look for it. Um, we kind of get a little disorganized here in this first deck. I'm going to take... Oh, I guess I did clear it rather quickly. Which is very good. We're going to take a little bit of damage, but it's going to allow us to push up while the uh, the attack is down so we don't get hindered by it when we uh, trigger the tank. Smoker trying to run away there. Not going to happen. There is some fire there, and we have fire bullets, looks like, over there. Which is going to be extremely helpful. We are going to play with the tank back here. It can be a dangerous spot. Oh, is this the game where I completely fail? Oh, it might be. Yeah, yeah it can be a dangerous spot. Uh, there is a cop car right there, obviously. And it is very open back there. Uh, which can be both good and bad for dodging cars. Yeah, this is the game. Okay. Yeah, it can be both good and bad for dodging cars. Uh, the reason I say good and bad is because you do not want a tank with a hittable in a wide open area. That is scary. You want to have an obstacle between you and the tank when they have a hittable. <clears throat> uh, that being said, 
That area back there is just above the wideness that I would like it to be for a tank having a hittable. I'm gonna get smoke back here because I'm an idiot and just ran back here when I knew there was a smoker thing I could melee. <clears throat> Not an issue, top is right there. Gonna clear me easily. And now we're just uh, slowly heading back. They've been attacking one at a time. I'm not even concerned about a uh, team-based attack on the last guy. Here he comes. Do, 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 do. Waddling his way along. Yeah, if the tank brings a car. Why is there a hunter running at us without crouching? Oh, it's AI. Yeah, if, if he does bring a car, uh, you just we have to hug the inside of this thing. And just kind of run around it like idiots. Uh... Yeah, I can tell you that's not what I do. I fail miserably here, actually. Ooh, nice rock. Look at that. Very, very close, actually. And there's that cop car. And that spitter's just projectile spitting. Comes a charger in there, too. There is the cop car. Look out for that. And now the cop car's over there. There's the tank. Oh, not enough time to react. Not enough time to react to that. Stupid mistake. I should have been against the inner wall. That fire was in a very bad spot for me to light it. I should have just left it lay. But, uh, <clears throat> what can you do, right? Um, the same situation they were in. Two people up. Tank is probably going to kill us. There goes Hishnik. And it does hit top, too, with an odd spin on it. Yeah. And that is that. So, uh,. Tanks, not uh, not our friends this game. I don't know what is going on with us. We just not having luck with them. Um, yeah. <laughs> Both times I would say is partially my fault too, which is kind of scary. But uh, yeah, still plenty of rounds. I mean, it's it's only what 600 points. I mean, we've come back from worse, right? Right? I don't know. Right. You know, there is a there is a good side too. You know, this is gonna, probably gonna be one of the shortest games that I've casted. Uh, simply because those first two maps were so freaking short. I mean, the early wipes the tanks. I hate to call them good, but they certainly help me with casting. Keeps the games nice and short. Keeps me energetic. Frosty. <laughs> There's a Molotov in that uh, little, uh, what would you call it, shelf thing? Yeah, shelf. There's a Molotov in it. Should uh, take note of that in case we catch this early tank like we may. Because it's been happening in every other map. Yeah. <laughs> This guy should not have rushed out there. That was a very, very bad idea. Charger, that was a crazy charge. Did anybody else see that? Um, Smoker did get somebody over there back by himself. He is going to get cleared, though, which will allow the tank to come in and start taking swats at people. Should be going after the guy who's boom, though, because he's not going to be moving. Probably going to down him. No, oh, maybe not. Needs to back out now. Just needs to back out and hold line of sight. Don't be afraid, guys, when you have a tank to back out. I mean, if you've got no infected up and no horde on the map, back out. Especially on green survivors. Because you're just not going to do anything. But now that guy is yellow, he might be able to chase him down, especially since they're so spread out. There's only one person shooting at him, he can down him. Yeah, he is in the red. He's slowly losing health there. And lighting that guy in the corner on fire, <laughs> that's unfortunate. And he gets boomed, which might be good for him. Tank does go down right there. Uh, remember there is tier 2 at the beginning of this map, so melting a tank is fairly easy in this early area. Uh, especially if you only catch a partial boom. Um, it's... It's interesting to me that, uh, Heeshnik didn't back out with that tank. Uh, yeah. We need to work on our backing out, maybe. And this server, it's weird. It seems like some official servers have super early tanks, and some have no tanks whatsoever. I can't figure it out. Either way, though, we did burn a med kit off the bat. Which is... Let me respond to this guy. Hold on, sorry. Yeah, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, we burned a med pack early on. Which is very useful. A uh, good dual attack there. Uh, spit could have been a little bit sooner. Maybe couldn't find a spawn. Oh, Spit is just behind where I got this guy. Oh, it might have actually have been hitting him. Yeah, it was hitting him. An oddly good attack right there. I don't know why that worked. I wish I could give you a reason, but it... it maybe the randomness of the attack worked. Um, good timing on the attack, so... Uh, I mean, as far as the, the timing of the attack... During the attack. Yeah, uh, the charger went, I went, then the jockey came in for cover. It, it, all in all, it worked pretty well. 
We still have a boomerang, which may be able to set up at the bottom of the escalator, uh, which is a very good boom spot, there's no question about that, but it can be thwarted by somebody who rushes ahead by himself. Because more often than not, I will not spawn a boomer for that person who is rushing ahead for the single boom. Although the boomer did spawn in the back. And uh, get the guy who's in the very back. Hmm. Always a good option to slow down the last guy. That will slow down the entire team. Now, we're looking for spawns. They are so spread out. Oh, if we could capitalize on this, it could be great. Oh, that charger could have pushed him all the way back. Waiting for a better opportunity, though. Yeah, that could have been devastating had that charger had a good spawn and a good angle of attack and could have pushed him all the way back and could have just defended that. Could have been game ending. Looking for this corner charge. I wasn't quite expecting it, so I didn't have a spawn. A bit late to the party. Trying to keep this guy in spit, but it's not going to happen. Just kind of herping the derp now. Able to get on Alice for a little bit of damage. It was kind of stupid by me, but hey. You know, when stuff like that happens, you're not really expecting it. It's just the way it is. Moving up the escalator, they don't have to worry about chargers, so they can just all run up there. No worries. They do have a guy in the orange, which means he is the second stage of slow. Going to be dragging along. He probably should heal. Um, when your team is all green and you are the slow fucking guy in the back, probably need to heal because your entire team is going to be slowed down because of you. Charger coming from back, able to hit two of them. Oh, able to jockey the last guy and get a smoke off there. Very, very, very nice. Boomer coming in from the front, hitting one. Maybe going to get another one with a splash. Oh, where's the splash? Fucking jockey glitch. Come on. There we go. Yeah, able to get another one with the splash. Which again, is going to hold him there for a little bit of time. Going to give us enough time to at least spawn in for the early part of the event and figure out what exactly we're going to do with the combination that we get. Weapons. They are sitting on, weapons-wise anyway, an auto shotty, a sniper. Yeah, maybe two auto shotties and two snipers. Hmm. Nothing important, just an interesting side note of what weapon choice people like to go with when they are coming into uh, horde-heavy events like this. A sniper rifle would not be my first choice, however. It is good to have a one person with it, but certainly not any more than that. Uh, no charger. No charger. Not good at all. Means I'm gonna have to try and keep him on this thing for as long as I can. Wait for that smoke. Why is he not pulling off the edge? Oh, that sucked. That smoke should have done the crazy little edge thing that it always does and drop the guy off. I don't. Why does that work sometimes and not other times? Why? Charger should have just waited. Should have waited for the room. That was completely useless coming from the back like that. Ah, uh, might have been able to stop her shell from rushing ahead like that. And uh, turning off the alarm. Smoker trying to get the last guy. A good good thought, actually. Um, it would probably slow him down significantly if we could cover a smoker in the back. Uh, it's not in the cards, though. Not gonna happen. Smoker is half health, and they do have rather accurate rep weapons, so they're gonna be able to pick him. He does despawn it. Gonna move it up front. Maybe we can get something crazy down here. No, not quite. Not gonna have the spawn. There's a witch up here, though. Hmm. What oh what will they do? I wish I had a freaking tab menu so I could tell you what they had for Molotovs. Ooh, Jockey trying to play off that witch. Now the thing about wandering witches, if you are outside of their aggro bubble, which is insanely small by the way, if you are outside of that as a survivor and you shoot a boomer, it will not set them off. To all you survivors out there that are concerned about shooting boomers near witches, only if they are aggroed onto somebody. You can tell because they are looking at them with the sitting witches, wandering witches. <laughs> you can walk right by them. Give them a kiss when you go by and they won't aggro to you. So, um, walking witches are uh, nothing. Not even a concern. The sitting witches will look at you when they're aggroed onto you. I don't know why would they would even try to light this witch. Look at this. I'm scratching her right here. She's not aggroed on anybody. And there she lights and aggroes. Did she uh, down anyone? Nope. Didn't down anyone, just dancing in the fire. Dance into the fire! What? She was dancing in the fire. Yeah, don't make fun of me. Um, not a lot of damage done to him there. Uh, for that entire round. They're still sitting on, what, two med packs? Yeah, not good. For us, anyway. Good for them. 
It is not looking good for us. Now, I haven't had the good attacks. Uh, no charge there for the death charge. They did kill that boomer. Well, one of them did get boomed. But all the horde's going to come from behind in this area, so it's not going to be an issue. And he just molotov off the doorway anyway, just for shits and giggles, I guess. And that is the end of that. Hmm. Interesting. We are still sitting on 89 points. 89 to 1400. Huh. Yeah. We're going to win this one, huh? Weapon choice, gentlemen. Considering the early tank spawn and the high probability that we're going to get hit by boomers, I would say everyone on assault rifles. However, it is good to have somebody on a shotgun for the horde clearing capabilities. It is a superior horde clearer and it is very, very good for self-defense, um, protecting yourself against anything. Whereas the assault rifle is more of a team gun, if you will. Something to consider when you're coming into an early tank. Weapon choice is very critical. Assault rifles do do quite a bit of damage to tanks. However, if an entire team takes shotguns, it only takes about two reloads. Or one reload a person to uh, to wipe that tank if they're all shooting at it. Something to consider. Good pick on that boomer. You can almost guess where he was going to spawn early game. All attacking the same target. Again with the ARs, they can clear him rather quickly. Charger did get a hold of me, but I did get cleared... Relatively fast. Smoker able to get a second pull on top there. Not going to do a lot of damage. Not at all. That does cause the tank spawn though. Um, had I noted where that Molotov was before, I could go grab it right now, but I don't remember where it was. Or I didn't see it when I was playing Infected, which is something you need to be aware of. When you're ghosting around as Infected, the supplies, uh, they do not move. They will stay in the same spot. Looks like uh, somebody did find a Molotov though. It is Hishnik. Is he going to light the tank? Yeah, I would like to say yes, but I'm not 100% on that. We're still taking a lot of horde. Ooh, and a charger spawn right there. Not able to clear him in time. Should get cleared right here, though. There he goes. Not able to get anybody red. Oh, nice pick on the boomer again. Second boomer picked. The tank will be losing, losing rage. He is hiding back there with a the smoker. Trying to smoke through the little crack for some reason. I don't know why he did that. Tank is gonna melt. Tank is definitely gonna melt if he runs in here. Need to be careful. I know they don't have anything up yet. That tank is probably about a quarter health now. Able to dodge his punches rather nicely. He's gonna die right here. He's gotta die right here. There he goes. Not able to hit anybody. All the damage you took there was SI. Which is... Interesting. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, but it's something to uh, note that when you're taking a tank, sometimes all the damage isn't done by the tank, but in fact the support, the infected that they have, or the, the horde that a boomer calls or something like that. Uh, we are going back for ammo now, because I have, uh, what, 26 rounds in my gun? Yeah, I don't want to do that, I'd rather have 100. Now uh, we will take a natural horde because of that, but it's not going to be a huge issue. The thing is, the naturals in this area are fairly small. They're not huge. There is a boomer again getting picked. We are just on the boomer picking sprees right now. Yeah, see, natural horde. Yeah, not an issue here. Especially when they don't have an attack up. It's not really going to be a huge problem. Smoker is behind. Looking for that pullback. Able to get it on top. Mo. Hunter is going to defend. I don't know. I really need to work on my punting. It seems like it's gone to be subpar now. There's another Molotov up here. Huh. Could have been useful for the tank. And now it's just a, a rushing game. We gotta get as far as we can as fast as we can, obviously, which is the whole point of this game. But uh, now's our chance to make up some points. Need to not take any damage, hopefully. <laughs> any more, I guess. We've already taken probably a little more than we should have to that tank. Smoker is still chasing from behind. Uh, Topmo is slow, and we. I'm just kind of leaving him back there. Oh my god, it took a lot of shots right there. Uh, like I said, uh, one guy's slow. He probably should heal, but we're not here to defend him. Boomer's in front. What is... Is that like the, the fifth boomer in a row that we've picked? They haven't got a boom on us yet. Very nice. We're healed. Now you can drop down here and bounce off this railing and hit the ground. It works really well. For a quick drop. And again with the smokers on him. Top is loving the smokers. He's getting pulled all over the place. Webb is trying to heal over there. I don't know why he didn't just try to kill the horde and come to us. I mean, there wasn't much horde left. 
Probably should have been defending him though, considering it. Oh, Heishnik, come on, man. He was just sitting in that goo and just now realized it took all of his health right there. Now all of us are going to have to heal. There's the charger. Mm. Come on, come on, come on. Not good. Small mistakes make the difference in a game like this sometimes. Moving from the top, only hitting one of us. No, it's, it's still going to call a rather, rather sizable horde, considering the area. Uh, Hunter trying for a damage pounce, not able to land on anything, decides to run. Does not have a team in to defend him. And now I should probably be healing too, but there's just... The attack is up. You can't heal when the attack is up. What's over here? Auto shotty? I need to heal now. I'm the slow guy, see? This is kind of a judgment call. You know they're not going to attack until the escalator. Do you heal now, or do you heal at the escalator? Would it make any difference? Uh, I don't know. I would like to think that if I go down, I would feel a hell of a lot better if I had a med pack. Or hell, you may run into pills like that. You know? Decisions you have to make, right? There's a pole going off down there. Maybe I can clear it. Yes, able to clear it. Oh, uh, they do get a boom off. Need to pick that boomer. There we go. No, we didn't hit anybody. The boomer did not get anyone. Um, no luck with the boomers for them. It's unfortunate. Charger coming in trying to pull off the same attack we did, but uh, there's only two of us in there right now. Maybe should have waited until all of us crossed. Charger's waiting over here, and I know that. I mean, it might take a punch, not quite. Uh, everybody's sitting on... Uh, I guess Webb still has his assault rifle. Or the desert rifle, rather. Needs to come with us now, though. Smoker and jockey up from behind. Thankfully, able to clear that jockey before the smoker goes. Otherwise, that could have been an issue, seeing as the other two are all the way up front. Search these rooms. Might be some we can use. Again with the auto shotty. It's astonishing to me that there were... What, three auto shotties in a row? That's... Annoying. <laughs> kind of... Kind of freaking tedious to hold on to the same gun without ammo piles. It does force you to change guns though. Which I guess is a mechanic. I don't know. I'm taking that second set of pills, putting me up to 100 health. Uh, necessary? Yeah, I think so. For this event. You want to be able to recover from the, the surprise rape that might happen right here. You do not want to get hit here and go down with a set of pills. I mean, that is just... that would suck because you can be wiped right here rather easily. Uh, there's just so much horde. Able to take care of that hunter real quick, real real quick. Good clearing speed on that, gonna be very helpful. There's a charger up in there scratching away. Sounded like he did get off a uh, double hit there. Very good for them. Although I don't know if they're gonna win this one on damage. We have to be aware that there is a wandering witch up here. There are three of us on shotguns though. Wandering Witch is very, very easy to crown. Especially with an auto shot. I mean, you can just pretty much just shoot her. I hear a witch. Everybody lights off. Like right there, just pump a bunch of ammo into her back. It's real easy. That's not the proper crown, but it's not really necessary to proper crown with a uh, with an auto shotty. Coming in one at a time like that. I like their angles of approach. I really do. I like I like the, uh, the jockey from the front, smoke from behind kind of thing. If that had been at the same time, it would have been an issue, but that's just the timing was all off. There is a hunter up right now, though. Uh, maybe going for damage pounces. He's not going to do anything, though. Going to get uh, dead stopped and cleared by Tomo down there. Very easy. I'm going to heal real quick. May as well. Uh, Heshnik maybe should be passing those pills to Tom. Be aware of your inventory, guys. Aware of what you have and what your other teammates do not have. Knowing that Tom is slow here could have been critical. Ooh, able to clear that charger before he uh, stops with anybody. Very nice. The product of the dual shotguns, like I said, good for self-defense. You can cut down a charger rather quickly with that thing, especially if you headshot. Make sure you headshot your chargers. That's something that I never freaking do, but I always say to do. Headshot your shit, guys. It works extremely well, especially a shotgun. You can clear a charger like one shot. Yeah, so we are still, you know, f oh, I don't know, 400 points behind. Did win the damage game. Not by too much, but by enough to say, hey, we won. Uh, still behind. Still playing from behind. Hmm. Coming into this from behind by about 400 points. Finales can net you a total of what, 900? Eight or 900. Surprise butt sex tank again early game. 
Um, there's not much to say about this tank. It is a straightforward tank. There is no right way to do it. You basically sit back in that corner and you clear the shit as soon as it attacks you. You do not get messed up by this tank if you just clear your stuff. You cannot get boomed back in that corner. I mean, if you take a charger and a spitter, oh my god, you can die back there. But, uh, yeah, waiting for our options here, seeing what we get. We need to be using this as soon as we get it. Tank is trying to hold out as long as he can, but we need to be using this combination right here. That hunter could probably wall kick in there pretty easily. There goes the charger as soon as the tank comes in, hitting three of them. Holy crap, hunter right behind me and web coming in with that boomer. Going to cause a lot of troubles. Holy cow, what an attack. Able to scatter three of them with that charger was very critical there. Tank able to get the hits on... Uh, Ellis in the safe room there, able to down him, but now he's going to melt. Two AKs firing on him, and down he goes. Reloading. Able to suck down probably two med packs there, though. With this event, it's it's a med pack heavy event, like everybody knows, so... It won't be an issue, I imagine. They can just uh, grab new ones when they get downstairs. I mean, teams, I've seen them do this and only take, you know... Not even one tank, you know, they'll, t they'll fight the first tank at their 13th can. It's difficult to do, but it's not possible. Spitter going there just for shits and giggles, I guess? Spitters are very critical in this event, actually. Uh, not necessarily for spitting cans, but also for when people go to pour. If you can, say, drop a pounce or a smoke or even a boomer on them, uh, when they drop that can, that is when you want to light. That is the can you want to light because that will keep them away from that car for that much longer. It will do more damage because, you know, you're obviously attacking at the same time. You you have a goal. You have a common goal. If you just have a spitter spitting cans that are on the ground, eh, can it be effective? Yes. Uh, it can definitely be effective. I'm not saying that that doesn't work. I'm simply saying that if you fight a good team and they are throwing down cans, chances are that if you spit a group of cans, they're going to move them out of the way before you can ignite them with a spit. Able to get an early boom here, going to start the, ho the uh, horde flow nice and quickly. They did grab the first can, which is odd to me. Very, very odd. They did it on purpose, very purposefully. He knew what he was doing there. There was no hesitation, like, maybe I shouldn't. He just grabbed it and went. Um, not a good idea. I've also heard, and I didn't know this, that lighting the first can actually starts the event. So just don't touch the first can. <laughs> Just leave it there. Don't ever touch the first can. Just just fucking leave that first can there. Until they patch it to where it's, the event starts as soon as the elevator opens, which should happen anyway. Coming in Charger Hunter here. Hoping for that dual cap. They did light a fire. Oh, yes, able to dual cap, but uh, fire is going to be an issue. Fire is going to be an issue. We will be able to down in time. Hunters do do additional damage to player lit fire. Oh my god, he doesn't go down. Shit. That was so close. Oh my god, Spitter might be able to salvage that. Yes, Spitter is able to make something happen. Good play by Heeshnik there. That was fucking beautiful. Oh my god. Uh, Rochelle just kind of stood in it and took it. Uh, maybe heartbroken, I don't know. But uh, that right there is critical. The fact that they only got one cannon and were able to down the two up that they go. That is, is... Oof. Feels so good to do something like that. Especially when you're coming from behind. It's like, you know, hell, we've got a chance. We've got a chance. We need another dual cap here. I fell through the hole forgetting that you can fall through these freaking holes when you're ghosting. Which is going to fuck up this dual attack right here. Uh, Boomer did go off on those two. Which is good. Very good, actually. Charge going in the front. Hopefully you can get the guy that's trying to clear me. He needs to just charge. Oh, he doesn't have his charge. He missed earlier. Mm, get in the hole. There we go. Beautiful, but he did drop right behind me. Oh, how crappy. Oh my god, Charger, the timing. Fucking beautiful. That was that was nice right there. Two very, very well pulled off attacks, even with their little hindrances. Uh, the improv worked very, very well. I mean, that's just the power of, of knowing what you're doing and having teammates that can actually cover and, and make up for, you know, little things that go wrong here and there. We are still in this game. We can win it because of that right there. Because of that good dual attack and that great spitter. Like I said, spitter is critical in this, not just because of the spitting cans. I mean, they can be useful for other stuff. I completely forgot that happened when I said that, though. 
We just need to make sure not to get wiped to this early tank. Like I said, the key to that would be picking your stuff. Picking the boomer, picking the charger, which can be done. You can pick chargers, yes. It's simple. You do it with headshots. And right now I think I'm actually explaining that to him. That we need to pick our shit. We need to do headshots, stuff like that. Because I want to win this one. And again, that <laughs> Batman fighting the shark with a lightsaber spray. Oh, how crazy is that? Yeah, so we're basically going to do it in the same spot they did. Uh, straightforward. You sit there, and you don't dump all your ammo into the tank when he comes around the corner. You would, you would think that's kind of counterintuitive, that you would want to just spray the tank when it comes around the corner, but no. No, you do not. What you want to do is wait until the tank gets about to the bathrooms. That is when the spawns are going to come out. That is when you're going to see the boomers, the chargers, the hunters, the jockeys, everything come in. And now we're doing a short little prayer to help us win this match. <laughs> but yeah, when the tank gets to the bathrooms, what you're going to see is the flood of the spawns. You're going to see all of your special infected come in all at once. And the trick to that is just clear that boomer. If you catch the boomer just right, you can stumble that entire freaking horde of infected coming at you. And you can effectively, you know, null that attack with a single shot. Hunter spawned in early. Very, very bad idea. Probably just a waste looking for something good. We should push the tank spawn right now. Knowing that one is down is very helpful. Um, probably should wait for the natural actually to subside. There's the tank trigger. Didn't mean to trigger that. I think I just pushed forward to just see if I can hear anything in the bathrooms. But yeah. You can get on top of the vending machines behind me. Actually, I think I might do that. If you jump on that pallet jack right there. It's a good spot to be, actually. Uh, with no spitter in the dice, anyway. If there is a spitter in their combinations, you have to keep yourself a little more separated than that. There we go. Getting up here. Now, I am keeping in the back of my head that I do not want to burn my entire clip into this tank when he comes around the corner, because I know that they're going to come around the bathroom corner, they're going to come out of those doors as soon as the tank gets that far in. As soon as we focus our fire on the tank is when they're going to come out. See, not shooting. Waiting for that charge. There's the charger. Melting it. Boom. Killing the boomer. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Exactly what I was waiting for. And now we can put our bullets into the tank. Reloading as soon as he goes back in. So key here to just not burn ammo. Conserve your clip. Know what's up. And pick your special infected. Cannot focus down the tank immediately, you have to worry about the attack that comes in behind him, because that is what's going to do the damage, not the tank. Throwing a rock at the wall, I don't, I don't know why. Keeping ammo on our guns, so critical. There's the hunter coming in off the wall pounces. Not worrying about that, worrying about what's behind him. Able to pick the boomer and the smoker before I clear the hunter. Tank is now in the safe room, we should be all cutting this guy down. We can kill him so fast if we all just shoot him. I don't know what Heeshnik was doing out in the hallway. There goes the tank. AK is very, very, very effective tank fighting weapons. I need to have a bl spawn blocker out in the hallway. There we go. Stressful, stressful, stressful. But oh my god, these guys pulled it off perfectly. That was a very, very nice tank clear. That was by the book and exactly how it should have gone. Yeah, let me kill it. No, no, that was perfect. That couldn't have gone better. We were able to get pills out of the bathrooms. Very nice. Some potty pills. Charger is up. Got to be attacking web. It's not going to be a huge deal, though. Like I said, there are sh crap tons of med packs on this map. I, don't see anyone. I was going to say shit tons, but I thought no, that might be inappropriate. But I just said it right there, so uh, deal with it. Yay, elevator time. Looks like we're gonna have to save ourselves. I think this is the game where uh, we shoot this boomer off the side. An interesting fact. Boomers will hit you through the glass on this elevator. Now, not by their main attack, their vomit, but by their area of effect explosion that goes off when you kill. Um, I think most people know that, but some people are kind of unaware. If a boomer is standing within proximity of you, uh, behind the glass, like this one here, there he goes, and you blow him up, you're going to get boomed. However, I think if you wait in that elevator, you don't catch any horde.
I turned around and I shot him in the face. Did anybody else see that? I didn't shoot the smoker tongue. I shot him in the face. I'm trying to shoot that first cans. AK is a little bit inaccurate. Yeah, the event's already started. There's no point in not shooting it. Haul and ass. We know how many points we need. We're just going to throw down cans and forego the spitter formalities. There are quite a few cans up here. We're going for the quicker ones first. We're going to grab these ones and then probably the ones on the bottom. Need to kill that spitter. There we go. One shotted. Uh, Topman was able to get those cans out of the spit. Very good play there. As I picked the spitter, he got the cans out. Like I said, being aware of what your teammates do. Need to be not. Oof. Careful, careful, careful clearing the hunters right there when your teammate has a can that they drop. Uh, because, you know, nine times out of ten you will light that can with your with your, uh, with your fire. Just something to keep in mind that you will light cans. Just like that right there, there goes that can lit. But it's not going to be an issue though. We have plenty of other cans to put in. But see what happens when you get fire on that car? Nobody can pour cans for however long that fire lasts, which I think is something like, I don't know, 15 seconds. Probably be looking at a tank as soon as we get those last two cans in. Still a smoker up, pulling from somewhere. Ooh, nice boom. Coming out of a uh, an opportunity spawn, I think. Gonna try and cut my way through this horde as best I can. Uh, maybe could be using my melee weapon. I don't know. Gonna be able to pour these cans probably before the tank gets on the map. Because this was the second horde that we caught. Spitter's probably gonna spit the car. Yes, there it goes. Charger coming out at the last second. Ooh, able to hit top mode right after he finishes pouring again. I'm not going to worry about the uh, Charger, although I probably should be. Fucking Horde. Why didn't I worry about that Charger? Because uh, I, I would have had to throw down my can. And I don't, I'm lazy. I don't like throwing down my can. There were two other people over there. I figured they could take care of it. Ooh, good light right there. Beautiful lead on that grenade. It just spread perfect. When you're running a tank in this kind of area, um, this kind, by this kind of area I mean there's there's scaffolding or uh, there's an area above me for the horde to run. You need that hunter <laughs> landed in front of me. You need to be aware of where the horde is dropping. You will get horde dropping on top of your tank. Did go down right there thanks to that light. Spitter did go right there on top of uh, top him over there. Webb got him up with a shot though, thankfully. Or other way around, sorry. Yeah, able to recover from that nicely. And now we have a serious chance of winning this thing, I believe. I'm pretty sure everybody GG's when the game ends, when we were all ahead of them. Going for the top cans now. Maybe could have been moving up there a little bit sooner. Not an issue, but it's just something to keep in mind. I just barely saw that spitter over there and killed him. Just barely caught his little spit drips. You probably couldn't see that if you're watching us on anything less than 720, but yes, I did see his little spitter drips over there and killed him. His fluorescent yellow spitter drips. Wish they did that on purpose. Handy top mo pills as soon as he, or while he's carrying a can. Hilarious, I think. I ponder throwing down this can, but it's not really necessary. I hear the smoker going, I hear the, sm the charger spawn. So that's what I'm looking for here. Ooh, t charger decides to turn around and get me. Ooh, and a jockey down here. Oh, got in a boomer spawn. Punt him. Beautiful. Um, sometimes those cans will go flying when you do that to the boomers. Uh, do I not shoot boomers because they're on top of cans? No. I will shoot a boomer regardless of where he's at, as long as he's out of range of my uh, teammates. Yeah, it's, it shouldn't be a concern that you have. If your can goes out of range, you can always pick it off with a sniper rifle or something and blow it up. It's it's a nuisance, yes, but it's not worth getting boomed over. Still one med pack here, able to grab that. Gonna kill off this uh, bile horde here. Charger is still up top. I'm curious why he's up there. He might be waiting for us to go for those other cans, or he's gonna drop down top of his killing hole. Oh, nicely done, before he hits the ground. It's gotta piss him off. Yeah, now it's just dealing with Horde. I mean, we're, we're so close. Those 
Next, uh, what is it? Four cans are on the second level. I'm gonna heal top before we go up there, though. Jockey. <laughs> Mid-air death, always funny. Uh, coming into our second tank now. Um, we could just take this one downstairs and then try and get our cans. It is a risky venture because of the fact that we were sitting on one medpack. Boomer dropping all the way from the top onto Heeshnik. That sucks. Heeshnik is the one with the Molotov. I guess Webb has one as well, so not a huge issue. He's going to catch all the Horde, which is probably a good thing for us, actually. Believe it or not, having one person boom can be beneficial, especially if you have random Horde on the map. Charger coming from the left, they're probably going to get melted. Yes, he does. Tank is buying time is what he's doing. He's trying to rock. Although on this map, rocking completely ineffective. I mean, there's so many obstacles and just random shit you can hide behind. There's just no good vantage point for the tank to throw rocks from where the survivors have to sit somewhere where they can be hit. Um, going one at a time. Kind of, well, I guess it's two at a time there, but... They weren't defending for a boomer, they weren't opening for a boomer or anything like that, so... Curious. Waiting game. Web does miss that molly. A very hard spot to molly. It is actually at just about the peak of your throw height. So it's very difficult to lob a molly up there. And again with the, the single attacks. Heeshnik lighting off to the right there. I don't know why he didn't wait for the tank to be on the map. The tank is going to melt really fast though. Oh, they just wasted two infected. We know they have a spitter up and then we just melted a charger. I get stuck on some horde there. That's going to be an issue for me as I'm going to get pounced over here by myself. Probably shouldn't have ran this way. Able to clear through the debris there. Very nice. Tank, for some reason, pays no mind to me. He does go down right there. Tank probably should have just defended me and tried to down me. If nothing else. We're going to be able to run for those last two cans now. We were all still fast. I'm just barely fast. Three hit points, and I am slow. Uh, Topmo is in the same boat as I am. Going to drop through this little dropway here. Probably should be two of us going the other way. Uh, considering. Huh. Good jockey boomer combination there. Ooh, along with the charger. But that boomer is still over there, which means if I blow the boomer, no, oh, it's not going to clear the charger. But I just shoot through Heastick anyway. And he lights the cans. Uh, disgruntled groan. Heastick goes down in the fire somehow. Must have gotten stuck in there. Now it's not looking too good. Um, maybe you should just throw down these cans and forget about these two. Try and pour, but not what I'm going to do. Team game. Team game. There is something going up to top here. There's a jockey doing some crazy pounce technique that I've never seen before. And it's oddly effective against me. Grabbing the can. Tired of messing with it. There is a boomer up to the left. Ooh, got a drop on us. Able to get me. Not good. Ooh, there's a charger up front. Ah, uh, that's not going to be an issue, though. Uh, he did get cleared rather quickly. Uh, I'm surprised we haven't seen more horde yet. There it is behind me. Never mind. It's coming. We are all slow. Everybody is red. How many do we need to win this? We need this one can to win this. Oh shit, somebody grab that can. Oh, that was close. That was way too close. I don't know why I tried to pour with that spit was there. It was kind of stupid. Hmm. Yeah, so just the attack's down now. It's just pouring these last two cans. We're on tank number three. Able to get me up, and that is the end of the game. We just, just passed them in points. The tank is on the map. It's this pretty much. We're gonna die here though. <laughs> we're so close to gone. Yep, there we go. Yeah. Epic comeback right there. That was astonishing. I could not believe we pulled that out of rest. We won that game by coming together at the end and just doing amazing. I mean, we held off attacks rather well. We probably could have done a little bit quicker, 
But all in all, I think they kind of failed the finale, and we did a little bit better than average. So a very good game, a short game, uh, which isn't a bad thing, and a very good game.